have short memories. Maybe they've forgotten the finger pointer in chief. Our people are going to find out the truth, and the truth will say that this intelligence is good intelligence. You know, mislead is a is a strong word. I was disappointed to see how flawed our intelligence was. Joining me now is comedian Liz Winstead, co-creator of The Daily Show and the brains behind Wake Up World. We just can't get the truth in this country. Who said this? Who said that? What do you make of all this this week? Well, I, I'm sort of apoplectic because when I hear Kit Bond and John Boehner of my existence, the engineers of the No Idea Train, <laughs> come out and harp on and on and on about the CIA, and the CIA would never mislead. How dare Nancy Pelosi <laughs> besmirch the name of the CIA, as though the CIA is a convent of cloistered nuns, beyond the approach. <laughs> I mean, this is an organization that when you say CIA, usually in the same sentence, words like covert and clandestine are attached to them. So it, it's, it's just annoying to me that they keep saying, how could they possibly be misled? Liz is talking about the CIA, which I find very interesting because right now I am in Washington, D.C. Watching Liz Winstead on The Ed Show. A couple days ago, I was sitting across from Liz Winstead smoking Marlboro Reds as she puffed away on Parliament Lights. And we were talking uh, about what I'm doing now, talking to the camera from my point of view. Uh, Liz, I'm going to watch you later. It's going to be all over the internet. So anyway, um, <laughs> I love you, but there you, there you are. So anyway, uh, basically the deal is I am a guy who used to do stand-up comedy years ago in New York City. Had a problem with drugs. I'm not blaming the drugs. I'm blaming me, but I fucked things up. I was kind of a dick to people back in the day. People were kind of a dick to me back in the day. Uh, right now I'm in Washington, D.C., and I'm doing six shows at the Improv, thanks to my friend Jeffrey Ross. If it wasn't for Jeff Ross, I, I, I wouldn't be here. I lived out of the country for uh, about ten years, uh, started out in Europe, ended up living on a small island in Thailand for a very long time, went back to Europe, lived in Slovenia, been back in the States for about a year now, and I'm doing the only thing I've ever really wanted to do, which is stand-up comedy. And I'm real happy to be doing it with a friend of mine like Jeffrey Ross, who people know now. They stop him in the street, and they want to talk to him, and it's a really beautiful, beautiful fucking thing. I'm so proud of him. Anyway, I, uh, I hope he's proud of me, and uh, I'm going to go do it. Uh, what time is it now? It is... 6:57. Uh, the show's at eight. So I really, uh, yeah, I got. A, I'm, I'm wearing at the moment. I'm wearing a sarong from Thailand and socks. I've never worn a sarong and socks at the same time. Well, you know, I thought I'd done everything. There you go. Um, anyway, set up. I got Liz Winstead on the video. Oh, this kind of sucks because Liz is talking about important issues and I'm about to go on the stage and do a joke that ends in lick my balls. <laughs> CIA. Cunts in America. Edit that. I didn't say that.